It is the beginning of the end. A dormant herald of the Collapse stirs in its lunar tomb. Where once we banished the nightmares, a new terror rouses them from their slumber. Callus. The Emperor of the Cabal, betrayed by his own daughter and cast into exile. Now obsessed with a voice calling to him from within the darkness. But we will not cower in fear of nightmares. We will do as Guardians have always done. We will rise to meet the enemy and confront our darkest fears with open eyes. Vanguard Reconnaissance Up Midas is go. Guardian, the exiled Emperor Callus has anchored his ship off the moon. Keitel's fleet is holding a perimeter. Eris Morn, our subject expert and lunar field agent, will oversee your mission. Shortly after the Leviathan's arrival, it emitted a disruptive frequency. We assumed the broadcast was comms interference. But then the pyramid responded. I believe a connection has been made. Your task is to confirm that notion and assess the danger. The House of Callus falls to rot, and his loyalists have abandoned their posts. Ikora has spoken of these fungal growths before, in reference to the derelict Cabal cruiser, Glycon Volatus. This does not bode well. Do you see the phantoms? Strange that they have left the moon. They were generated by the Lunar Pyramid, dredged trauma like scorch marks lifted from a ruin. Is the entire vessel infested? More phantoms congregating around something. On the moon, phantoms and nightmares alike were attracted to remnants of light, refracting them into weaponized projections of fear and doubt. Vines fused to spine and skull stimulating brain activity, an experiential perpetuity, endlessly feeding the egregore. Eris, do you see her? Zavala? Don't let her go. Light bearer. I have, I have seen, seen your kind before. You seek oblivion. This could be a trap. It's not. Pursue this lead. All the same, proceed with caution. She's gone. Nightmares exploit a target's vulnerabilities. They do not make contact at random. But I do not believe this is the Guardian's nightmare. Stow your weapons! That Cabal radiates foul energy. Keep from sight. Come and see. Egregore spores open one's consciousness to darkness, allowing passage through fungal barriers. Agitate the pod and coat yourself, but take care. When you see, you will know what must be done. That door leads to Callus's throne. The Helm's instruments detect it is radiating pyramid resonance. She's guiding us to Callus. One of Callus's contraptions. <laughs> it 
It is time to leave. Hold fast. I will retrieve you. Something has placed itself between us. I cannot reach you! Guardian! Run! The Lunar Pyramid stirs to the Leviathan's call. It manifests our deepest regrets. They wear familiar faces and speak with familiar voices. Remember your last advisor, Zavala. You trust this one's judgment? I can bind these nightmares to us. Grant us safe passage through the ship. Hive magic. You would doom us all. I know what I'm asking you to confront. Do you? The rules have bent around us. We must also bend. Madness. Your witchcraft plays right into my father's hands. Find someone else for your ritual. Your regrets will follow you, Empress. Let me offer protection. <clears throat> my armor is protection enough. I will lead the charge. You need only follow. No matter what happens, do not break the circle. This will anchor our offerings. Now, tithe your weights to the crown. My heart, from a time long past, my memory, from one life to the next. Song of Sothona, your words are mine to command. Borlog, I am... Eris! Chords plucked in offered throats find chorus. Echoes once dissonant, exhumed, find harmony in binding flesh. Burdens. It burdens. It burdens. Until the choir relents. Accepted. I out. We are bound. Greetings, Guardian. I come bearing enlightening news. Brachus Forge has earned himself quite a reputation among the Cabal. Within his first three days aboard my ship, he was challenged to six rites of proving. He prevailed in them all. One of those challenges came from an officer on my war council. Brachus Forge defeated him with a single thunderous blow. 
As is our custom, he was promoted to Valis for his courage. He has also started a version of the Iron Banner aboard my flagship, at my request. There were many volunteers for his training. He calls his legionaries Iron War Beasts. We have much to learn from one another, and Valis Forge is an excellent ambassador. I dare say he even likes it here. And if a human can ascend to the rank of Valis in such a short time, imagine what the future holds. May we all live long enough to find out. It is done. We are inexorably bound to the power of this hive artifact, and to one another. The Crown of Sorrow was once forged by Savathun's hand, designed as a psychic prison, binding the mind of its bearer to her will. Now it serves a new witch. You have become a Reaper of Darkness, dooming slain nightmares to imprisonment within the Crown. Callus has begun to forge a bond between the Leviathan and the dormant pyramid buried on the moon. I do not yet know why or how, but with enough imprisoned nightmares, I can use their essence to invoke a ritual to sever those connections Callus is forging. For now, return to the Leviathan and seek out concentrations of these new nightmares. Destroy them, and bind them to the crown. As I warned Zavala, nightmares wear familiar faces and speak with familiar voices. They manifest our darkest fears. You will assist Crow when it comes time to perform the first severance ritual. We both know what form his nightmare will take. It will do everything in its power to stop you. Be wary. Another nightmare rises, but this one is stronger. Go and extinguish it. This scythe burns with the power of your will. Use it to shatter the nightmare's defenses. It is time. Light and dark align, turning into a burning recollection of terror. Seize that power and become a reaper of nightmares. of your time. Go home. Our sister needs us. You. I know you want to see her. I can feel it. There are things you want to say to her, so say them. She will listen. Crow, when was your last downtime? You've logged a lot of hours this week on patrol. Noted. I understand that you want to make up for what happened to Saladin, but burning yourself out isn't the answer. Your heart's in the right place. But we're all under a significant strain. You need to be at the top of your ability. Take a break. Thanks, Commander. I will. But you should probably take your own advice. Noted. Are you skulking about? I don't skulk. What do you want, Eris? Have you been seeing your other half? Has he been communicating with you? Like I owe him money. He's extremely persistent. Glibness does nothing to help your growth. How are you responding to his goading? Kinda like this. It is as if you two deserve each other. Eris. How did you deal with all this? You had, what, four or five of these things haunting you? How did you even sleep? I do not sleep. I dealt with my demons by confronting them head on. 
The words they are saying are your personal truths. They are your thoughts, fears, and nightmares brought to life. That nightmare is no more Aldrin Sov than you are. Oh. Thank you. I do not require your thanks. I require you to be stronger than your fears. Welcome to the Underbelly, Guardians. Your mission is simple, but nonetheless treacherous. Deal our first cut in severing Callus's connection to the Pyramid. You both have a route to the Severance Site, and ritual amplifiers to place. Crow, as above on the Leviathan, so too nightmares will manifest below. Yours takes the shape of Aldrin Sov. Endure him. Each amplifier grounds our severance in the Leviathan's connection to the darkness. Loyalist welcoming party ahead. Maybe I can find a way around. This is what the Traveler made you for. We're killers. Don't shy away from it. I don't kill unless I have to. Right. You only murder the deserving. Like Keitel's Scion. That was a mistake. It was a mistake. Lucky Saladin owned it for us, just like Mara always used to. An uninvited guest slithers through the bowels of my Leviathan. This mechanical appendage is maintained poorly, unable to see the grandeur of your brave face. Come now, closer. Let me bask in you. Another trap? I keep you a distance. Our mission takes precedence. I can feel their light bearer. Our last encounter was hostile. I forgive you. Embrace me, and I will share such wonders with the Vanguard that your paltry light could never outshine. Allow me to open you, mind and body, as mine have been opened. Simply turn back and enjoy what is to come. Sounds like we both hit resistance, Guardian. I doubt they had as much trouble as you. I've seen them work. At least I'm not one and done. You take resurrection for granted. Remember how we begged Mara to save us? To make us awoken as we slipped away from existence? Do you ever stop talking? <laughs> Guardian, that's your second amplifier? Good. Crow mimics a stoic affectation well enough, but I can tell his nightmare is wearing away at him. So, Guardian, the Crow wants to be me, or he's afraid he already is? Is there a third option? Mm, languish in your miserable limbo of a life? The scorn will drag you into mine eventually. Those Elixni deserve to rest in peace. What you did to them, I would never. We raised them, gave them a second chance. I thought you were all about second chances. Where did those scorn come from? I told you, our prodigal children returning to their father. Can't you hear them calling? Why did you abandon us? Ow! You're awfully bitter. Damn right I'm bitter. You had everything, and you set it on fire for her! 
You rose out of those ashes. A guardian. Noble. Admired. Even by her. I'm ready to finish this. Is this why you push so hard to remember me, little bird? So you could burn Aldrin at the stake and prove your independence? It's the right thing to do. I have to. How many failed attempts to do the right thing before you realize our fervor always backfires? Mara had you wrapped around her finger. Everything I do is because I want to. Sure. Outcome's the same, isn't it? You cut out pieces of yourself until there was nothing left of your humanity. You enjoyed it. That's the difference. Please. You'd swallow all those whiny little morals given the right push. You've come so close already. That's why you run. I'm not running. Hmm. We'll see. Our legacy is calling. Father. I'm losing it! You can endure this! Vickrel's alone. Hated just like you were. You can help him, but you just... don't. Because it's one more step towards me. It's why you won't help our sister, either. After everything Mara's done for us. I don't want her help! This isn't a knife fight, Crow. Accept his words. Move through them. No! No. I'm going to enjoy ripping him out of me. Try. I'll just burrow back in over and over until I'm all you have. I... Ayers, what do I do? Retreat is not weakness. Breathe. We can try again, in time. Sorry I let you down. Come to tell me it's not my fault? Hey, Guardian. I know this is on me. You don't have to feed me any comforting platitudes. I've been running from the truth for long enough. You know, when I first came to the city, I told these little lies about who I was or where I came from. Nothing hurtful, just a few stories to keep a comfortable distance from the truth. To fill in the blanks. When I got my memories back, I remembered Aldrin did the same thing. He started little rumors, recounted adventures to an audience, planted gossip in Mara's ear just to watch those stories spread. We're exactly the same. Down to the instincts. It's in my blood. <laughs> I thought I could do this. I thought I could prove to Zavala and Keitel and you and everyone else that I was better than him. But lies... They only get us so far. It appears the situation is far more complex than I first believed. The Leviathan has become an extension of the Lunar Pyramid, channeling feelings of shame and regret into reality. The Pyramid did so as a security system, driving away those who would tamper with it. 
But what is happening on the Leviathan? This is purposeful. Malicious. As the nightmares on the Leviathan spread, it could threaten Earth and beyond. Callus is bond with the Pyramid endangers all of us. Crow was unprepared to face his own demons when we attempted to sever it. And though I may be able to counsel him through the next confrontation, that will take time. You should return to the Leviathan. Continue harvesting the nightmares and disrupting Callus's plans. We will speak again soon.